guys, my name is Lucy and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you back for more of my videos. And if you enjoy this video, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. For today's video, I am doing a video that I'm very nervous about. I am going to be following my fitness fanatic besties workouts and meal plans for a day. My best friend, Thisby, is an absolute fitness machine so before we go any further in this video please please do go and follow her new fitness instagram account i'll put it on screen now so it would mean the absolute world to me if you go over there follow her and show her all the love and support that she deserves as you will see from thisby's instagram she eats a lot of fruit and a lot of vegetables. Now, I don't think I live an unhealthy lifestyle. I work out quite a lot. I eat quite well, although I do eat a lot of sweets, but I really don't eat fruit and vegetables. I'll eat fruit in a smoothie if it's blended, and I'll maybe eat like some peppers or onions and peas and corn, but that's about as far as my vegetable consumption goes. So I'm very, very scared to see what this is gonna make me eat. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I'm actually gluten and dairy free, but I said to Thisby just to go ahead and do her menu as she would, and I would try and adapt it to fit my diet. So Thisby has emailed me over my menu, which I'm gonna be following a couple of days from now. I'm just filming this section now so I know what I need to buy i have not looked at this menu at all so you're going to get my genuine reaction and i am very scared two weetabix i'll need to try and find a gluten-free alternative but that's okay almond milk i hate almond milk i like rice milk i like oat milk i like soy milk but almond milk is not the one banana is she having a joke? I hate bananas with every bone in my body. Frozen blueberries and raspberries. Okay, frozen fruit is a little bit better because the texture's not as disgusting. I hate the texture of fruit. And a sprinkle of Special K. I have a gluten-free alternative of Special K downstairs, actually. Two veggie or plant-based kebabs, sausages or burgers. Any of these will work. Okay, I'm gonna need to go to the shop and try and find something like that. Half a packet of whole grain rice, absolutely fine. Any salad you have. Can that be no salad, this be? Tomatoes and cucumber, definitely. Any sauce you choose, I mainly go for a tomato salsa as it's low in calories. Tomato salsa, fabulous. We actually have homemade salsa in the fridge, so that is amazing. <laughs> A cut up apple. I don't think I've eaten an apple since I was about 12, but I'm sure I can stomach it. A couple of crisps or popcorn on the side of your fruit. A couple of crisps. I'd eat a whole blooming family size bag of crisps, but okay, I actually might get some popcorn because I've really been wanting popcorn recently. Wholemeal spaghetti, gluten free for you. Amazing. Lean mince bolognese. Amazing, I love spag bowl. Loads of veg in capital letters. Make the bolognese how you would, but I love to add loads of veg. Alpro vanilla yogurt. I love Alpro vanilla yogurt. Strawberries and raspberries. One rich tea biscuit or biscuit of your choice. Again, I will find a gluten-free alternative. I have some gluten-free biscuits downstairs, so they might do okay. And that is it. And on Tuesday, Thisby's going to be voice noting me, telling me all the workouts I need to do. And I'm obviously going to be following this meal plan, so I will see you then. So guys, the day has come where I am going to be following Thisby's food plan and doing her exercises. <laughs> Okay, so it's now time for breakfast. So I've got my Otavix. This we did say Weetabix, but I can't eat wheat, so we've got Otavix. My fake free from Special K and almond milk. And then I'll put on the other stuff after. So this we said I need to take two of these and put it with the milk in the microwave for a minute and a half. I swear that's what you do when you're a baby. I assume I meant to mush it. So I've got the Otabix out of the microwave. It's a bit um, it's a bit solid, so I think I'm gonna add a bit more milk. I don't know if I was meant to put the berries in the microwave or not. Dad, what have you got, Dad? Dad's got some uh, fruit and fiber. Fruit and fiber. I assume I'm just meant to put these berries on top and mix them in, and the heat of the cereal will defrost them. They're very stuck together. <laughs> Enjoy the lovely massive photo of me in the background. Here it is out the microwave. I decided to put it in the microwave again for 30 seconds because I think I was probably meant to put it in the microwave with the berries because they were very frozen. So now they've defrosted and here is my fake special K that tastes like cardboard. Mmm, yum. <laughs> the last time you ate a raspberry you were sick in my feet. How old was I? About 12. Lovely. It's a bit stodgy. I don't know if that's because I've done it wrong. I don't like fruit because it explodes in my mouth. I'm not sure the sprinkling of cardboard makes any difference. 
I just forgot about the almond milk and mum asked me how it tastes and actually it's not offensive. When I've had almond milk before it's like but I don't know if it's because it's the unsweetened one but it's really not offensive and I can't really taste it. Breakfast accomplished. It is now time for my lunch preparation. So I have my Beyond Burgers, which I'm so excited to try. And then I have the Uncle Ben's whole grain rice. So here is my finished lunch. This is much more than I would eat for lunch normally. So I've got the Beyond Meat Burger, which looks scarily like an actual burger. Whole grain rice, homemade salsa, and tomatoes and cucumber. This is the only bit that I'm not looking forward to. But everything else to me looks quite good. I'm gonna try this burger. The salsa and the rice, lovely. Don't know if I wanna eat any cucumber. Try a little bit. It just tastes like grass. I'm gonna eat this now. This I'm not that hungry and this looks like a lot of food to me. So I'll update you guys when I'm finished. I'm just about to head back into the pool, but I thought I'd pick up the camera quickly because I am currently one subscriber away from 2000. So hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, we've hit 2000. Thank you so much to all of you who have supported me over the last year and a half, nearly two years now. It means so, so much to me and I love you guys so much. You literally have no idea how much your support means to me, but hopefully today we can hit 2000. So, I've just set up my mat and I'm about to put my trainers on. It is currently 33 degrees in this room, according to the thermostat, so I'm gonna die. These weights are like hexagonal, so they have a flat side so she can walk out with them. But mine are fully round, so I do think I'm gonna hurt myself if I do it with the weight. So I'm just gonna do this one body weight, but it is meant to be with weights. This is an absolute killer. I'm not even halfway through. Oh my gosh. dinner for dinner we are i just fell over for dinner we are having spaghetti bolognese and i'm so so excited mum is over here and is very kindly going to help me prepare dinner we're making it a little bit in advance we're not going to eat for a couple of hours but we want to give it time to cook because spaghetti bolognese always tastes so much nicer when you've left it to cook for a little bit so this be very clearly specified you need to put lots of veggies in it so we've got grated courgette white onion grated carrot got some garlic here and mum is just about to chop up the mushrooms. So that is the bolognese prepped and I'm about to do Fizby's 25 minute ab challenge. I'm scared, I'm tired, but I'll time lapse it and you guys can see how I get on. later on I've had a bit of a freshen up. It's gonna check up on the spag bowl. Oh, it's looking good. And the vegetables have basically disappeared. So I'm gonna get the pasta out and get ready to boil that. Yay! Give it a try. I think that bolognese is good and I can't taste the vegetables. Mm. We're gonna eat this and then I'll see you when I'm having dessert because this be told me no matter how full I am, I have to have dessert. So I'm gonna construct my dessert now. We just got the mango out the freezer and I just tried a bit and it's not that offensive. I want to eat this. I made mum and dad carrot cake for their anniversary and it's so yummy and I just want to eat it. But instead I get to have yogurt and mango. So here is my final meal of the day. I've got Alpro soya vanilla yogurt which I actually really really like. Half of this chocolate chip biscuit and some frozen mango. So guys I finished my dessert. It was actually really good. Dinner and dessert were my favourite meals of the day. Breakfast. 
that was an experience. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and thank you so, so much again for watching this video and I will hopefully see you again very, very soon. Bye.